guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're as excited as I am from the title. You can tell that we're going to be making bagels today. But what makes these bagels so amazing is that they're extremely low in carbs and they're packed full of protein. I don't know about you, but when I consume foods that are high in refined carbohydrates, I slip yeah. into a carb coma. The great thing about these bagels is they are gluten-free, grain-free, refined sugar-free, and to top it all off, they're ketogenic friendly. We are gonna start by preparing the dough, and the dough that we're making is going to be the base for all three bagel flavors. We're going to begin by mixing our dry ingredients together. So in a medium-sized bowl, add one and a half cups of almond flour and one and one-fourth tablespoons of baking powder. Mix the two together and then set that bowl aside for later. In a separate microwave safe bowl, add two and a half cups of shredded mozzarella cheese and two ounces of cubed cream cheese. Place the bowl in the microwave and microwave on high for one minute. Mix the partially melted cheese together as best as you can and then place in the microwave for another minute. We're going to give the melted cheese one last stir before we add in our dry ingredients. Once you have the cheese mixed as well as you possibly can, go ahead and add the almond flour and baking powder mixture to the melted cheese. Next, you're gonna add two beaten eggs to the bowl. Now I'm sure if you have the right tool, you'll be able to get this mixture as uniform as possible. But the best way that I have found, and the quickest way I have found, is to just get messy and dive in with both hands. As you can tell, this gets pretty sticky, so once your dough is as uniform as you can possibly get it, clean off your sticky, messy hands and place the bowl in the fridge for about 30 minutes. This is going to allow the dough to chill a little bit so it'll be easier to work with when we go to actually roll out our bagels. This recipe yields six bagels, so since I'm making three different flavors of bagels today, I'm going to be splitting my dough into thirds. I really like the idea of getting multiple flavors out of one batch of bagels because I don't know how I'm going to be feeling in the morning when I'm craving a bagel if I want something savory or if I want something sweet. So splitting the dough up really gives me a variety when I don't know what my stomach's going to be craving on any given morning. Now this dough is still pretty sticky, so the way that you can get around that is by placing a little bit of oil on your palms and then rubbing it in. Personally, I'm using olive oil in this video, but I'm sure coconut oil, avocado oil, any kind of oil that you have just in your pantry is going to work. So you're just going to split your ball of dough in half and then roll it between your hands to make like a long worm or snake looking creature. And then you just press the two ends together and you have formed your bagel. Once you have your bagel formed, go ahead and place that on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. This first flavor that we're making is the classic sesame seed bagel. Sprinkle the desired amount of sesame seeds over the top of the bagel and gently press them down into the dough. This is going to ensure that the sesame seeds really stick to the bagel while it's in the oven rising and it ensures that they're not going to just pop off when you're handling your bagel. The next bagel we're making is my personal favorite, cinnamon raisin. So you're going to take your next third of dough and add two tablespoons of raisin and then a tablespoon of cinnamon. 
Make sure to add that little drop of oil to your hands once again so mixing these ingredients leaves your hands as clean as possible. Our final flavor is a blueberry bagel. Now, the recipe calls for dried blueberries and you're gonna see me add about two tablespoons of what look like cranberries and that's because they are, but they're blueberry flavored cranberries and I honestly needed to get them out of my pantry. So while they may still have that blueberry flavor, do yourself a favor and get the real thing. Bake your bagels at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 12 to 14 minutes. For me, no bagel is complete without a massive scoop of cream cheese. So for our sesame seed bagels, I'm going to be making a dill cream cheese. So I took about two ounces of softened cream cheese and a tablespoon of dill and all you have to do is just mix that up and it's ready to serve. I have calculated the macros for each one of the bagels we have created and they will be listed in the pictures after their cream cheese recipe. And just as a disclaimer, this does not include the extra cream cheese or the avocado that you see here. To top off our cinnamon raisin bagels, we're going to be making a honey walnut cream cheese. Now for this, you're going to need two ounces of room temperature cream cheese, about a tablespoon of crushed walnuts, and then I personally add about a tablespoon of honey, but depending on how sweet you want your cream cheese, you can add a little bit more or a little bit less. To top off our blueberry bagels, we're going to be making a lemon zest cream cheese. Now again, we're going to need two ounces of room temperature cream cheese, about a tablespoon of fresh lemon zest, and a tablespoon of fresh lemon juice. I promise these bagels will not disappoint, so get in the kitchen and make sure that your morning tomorrow is everything that it's meant to be with one of these three recipes. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you'll stick around to see what I'm cooking up next. Bye guys!